We're with Dr. Lori Hannon at the Greater New York Dental Meeting where they're offering hearing screenings to dentists and other dental professionals. So first of all, can you tell us what happens to our hearing as we get older? Um, as you get older, typically um, people do get a hearing loss. Uh, sensory neural hearing loss usually starts in the high frequencies. Mm -hmm. We used to think that it was absolutely a function of normal aging, and now most people think that um, exposure to noise over one's lifetime has a lot to do with it. Okay, so what are some of the particular risks that impact hearing? Um, the biggest thing that impacts hearing really is noise, mm -hmm. um, recreational noise and occupational noise. So we're at the dental convention mm -hmm. and a big risk for dentists, especially dentists that have been in practice, say for 30 or 40 years and have been using the older drills is noise from the dental drills. Okay. Are, are there any other uh, um, sources of noise that might present troubles? Loud rock concerts, mm -hmm. um, leaf blowers, video arcades, exercise. Mm -hmm. gyms, they pump in the music really, really loud. Anything over 85 decibels for a period of time mm -hmm. can cause hearing loss over your lifetime. Doesn't mm -hmm. happen right away. Um, some may be more obvious, gun shooting, firecrackers, things that are really impact noise can cause an acoustic trauma that can damage your hearing immediately. So even just hearing, say, one, um, one session with a patient with a dental drill, that's enough to have some kind of an impact? No, it's not. That's okay. not going to be loud enough. Mm -hmm. Those other, uh, anything other than gunshots, firecrackers, that sort of thing, mm -hmm. it, takes, it takes exposure over time. So there are cumulative effects. It's a cumulative effect over your lifetime. A cumulative from the drills, a cumulative if you also happen. We, we just had somebody here who we screened. He's a dentist. Mm -hmm. He also um, shoots guns recreationally. Okay. And he, go, and he used to go to rock concerts. You add it all together, mm -hmm. and it's not surprising that 30 years later he has a little bit of a hearing loss. So with these risks in mind, what are some of the protections that dental professionals could take to preserve their hearing? The best thing that they could do is to use custom ear protection. Mm -hmm. um, their ear protection that's made to fit your ear specifically, most audiologists can do them. They're comfortable, you can wear them all day, and they also don't block out um, speech. So okay. you could, it blocks out the dangerous levels of sound, but you can still communicate with your patients. Okay, and where would one go to get these kinds of uh, custom ear pieces then? You, you can go to an audiologist or a hearing aid dispenser usually um, locally. We're in, we're in Manhattan, we're mm -hmm. down at 50 Broadway, we make them. They made, they're comfortable and they work really well. Okay, and just generally speaking, where can dentists go for more information about protecting their hearing, protecting the hearing of their staff, or even their patients? Well, they can check our web our website um, is chchearing.org, mm -hmm. and um, they can also it's an occupational hazard for them. They can check OSHA, mm -hmm. and OSHA usually has pretty good resources about noise. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to add about the, the risks of uh, or the importance of hearing loss? Yes, if you don't if you can't hear well, you can't communicate well, mm -hmm. and the biggest um, I think the biggest takeaway maybe from noise induced hearing loss, which is what we call. Mm -hmm. uh, hearing loss due to noise is it's completely preventable. Once it happens, you can't fix it other than by using hearing aids. Okay, great. Well, thank you for your time, and uh, we hope uh, our, our our audience will then do some better uh, care of their hearing. I hope they do. Great. Thank you again. Okay. Yep. You're welcome.